Hey everyone, so just shoot, uh, shooting a very quick video to share with you my non-negotiable rules right, for my own success in 2024 and this is something I've always set myself uh, to do every year right, which has led to amazing results right, for my growth as an income, financial, personal, so on and so forth. Right, so my, my hope from this video is that you actually get to enjoy, you actually can use it for yourself to implement it right, uh, so that you get an amazing 2024 and of course right, in the years ahead also. Right, uh, one thing to note is that uh, non-negotiable rules just basically means what are the specific systems or activities right, that you want to put yourself to keep to no matter what right in order to have an amazing life right and one thing to note is obviously the first time you do it right you, you might not uh, get it all done right immediately right it's something that for you to get a bit more time right a bit of experience a bit of mistakes right to get better right? but I hope by using mine right you get to accelerate your progress right your support and you get to have an amazing year ahead okay so with that uh, let me just share with you very quickly right what are my 12 non negotiable rules so number one is when it comes to sleep right so my rule right for 2024 is no later than 12 30 a.m right and wake up at the latest at about 8 30 right uh, a.m right and to do this i'll use what i call a 10 uh, 3 2 1 0 formula right uh, which i've shared about in my previous trainings right uh, 10 hours before bed right um no more caffeine three hours before bed right to limit significantly reduce my food and alcohol right two hours before bed right no more work related activities right as much as possible a uh, one hour before bed right uh, no more screen time turn off the phones right if i use the phones i'll just put it on uh dimmer or night mode right and zero the number of times i'm allowed to hit snooze so uh, have i done this uh all the time 2023 absolutely not right there are times i i i failed right there are times i did not hit my mark right but this year right this is going to be my focus based on everything i've gone through all right uh next up morning routines right so every morning right uh, when i wake up right i'll just do a combination of falling right drinking water stretching right a bit of bath if we write that down right a cold shower right and exercising day so realize that i don't have a lot of crazy like um, exercise right journaling writing and stuff right because my take is right i want to reduce as much time right as much friction for me from waking up to getting the work done, right? And usually I take about 15 to 20 minutes. All this don't take too much time, right? Because what I realized, at least for me, right, um, I do need like one, two hours. I used to try out, right, one, two hours routines for me to get started. But then the most productive of my time, most productive period of my time, right, it doesn't work anymore, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, each time before I go to sleep, I'll do a combination of following, right? Um, stretching, moisturizing, hair, right? Uh, plan for the next day, right? And catching up with my left thoughts, right? So this is my usual routines for my 2024. Um, strategy review, right? Any of the uh, week, quarter, month, and year, I'll commit to conducting a strategy for myself, right? Just my daily highlights, what I've done, what I've done, and what I'm focused on moving forward. So this year, I'll be a lot more strategic around what I do. Last year, I finally got a lot more clarity, right, about my dream business, my ideal lifestyle and support. This year is all about implementing, all about execution, right? And you're going to see it over the year ahead. Right, next thing, right, um, regarding the working day, right, uh, so uh, for me, it's just Mondays to Fridays. Saturdays, I do get work done as well, but it's more relaxed. So Mondays to Fridays, right, definitely deep work. There means no meetings, right, before 12 p.m., right, for me, right, um, discharging, right, uh, every hour, every 6, 90 minutes or so, right, to make sure I'm always on constant progress. And this is something that worked very well for me, because why? I'm able to wake up at 8.30 a.m. and get work done all the way back to sometimes even midnight if I have to, right? So this is something that I get done, right, uh, because I've discharged, right, about every 60, 90 minutes or so. Right, uh, take a quick walk, right, with my, my doggies, my puppies, or myself. It's in podcast, right, uh, every afternoon, right. So, this is something I plan to get done moving forward, right. And then, uh, lunch, then a bit more relaxed, right, rather than just work all the time, okay. Um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights are strictly not used for work unless, right, it's for a special event and whatnot, <coughs> but to be family, friends, and loved ones, right. So, uh, whenever I'm feeling burnt out and strange fatigue, it's not like pushing well, right. Um, I'm going to focus on self care instead of pushing my limits as I'm living for the long run. So, one thing about me, right, was a lifestyle business, right. Um, I set my own limits, I set my own game plan, I set my own um, uh, constraints, right. So, one thing to know is I don't, I don't want to operate a business from stress, uncertainty, right, self doubt, right. Um, and, and while that is normal for entrepreneurs, right, I'm going to make sure that if I'm feeling burnt out, right, and whatnot, I will continue to move forward no matter what, right. Next thing, right, each time I have a task, I'll uh, in a to-do list app, right, so this is a pretty simple. I might do a separate training on this, right, about my to-do list, so just take note of that uh, as well. But another thing is, I, I have what I call a core uh, team, right, <coughs> a daily team of the week, right, so I'm just going to focus on this, right. Monday is more for deep work content creation, Tuesday systems, Wednesday client success, Thursday is partnerships, Friday research. But of course, every day, I'll still be writing emails, content, creating content to help people out, because that's what I enjoy and what I love. Right, next thing, I'll be uh, uh, saying no. Right, so if I feel my heart and gut that saying yes to a decision might, uh, will not be the best decision or situation for me, I'll be courageous and say no, even if I hurt the other party's feelings. Right, so one thing, um, this year, 2024, I've decided that my year is going to be focused a lot on choosing myself, right, and this is something that I'm going to do on over and over again. 
right? Uh, next thing, optimizing my health, right? So about four times a week, right? Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll adhere to my body strengthening, right? Limiting my diet gym is about three times a week. I'm not that particular, right, about my diet, right? But I'm going to be a lot more intentional, right, moving forward. Okay, and then a lot of veggies, water, so on and so forth. Uh, relationships, right? Uh, I think being present for me is very important. In the past, I used to spend time with family and friends, but I'm still thinking about work and whatnot. But presence, right? So I might not spend much quantity of time with them, right? This year, right? But a lot more quality time. That's my priority. Okay. Uh, learning, right? Uh, yeah. So at least four hours, right? Every week on learning and learning to constantly upgrade myself, right? So I always serve my clients, do my business, live a happier, better, richer, fulfilled life, right? And right when I decide to join a program, yes, I will, I will. Take mind, I'll be mindful of the cost in quiet, but I'm going to look more of the value, right? That program can be, right? Um, eleven bit, not look but a bit more mindset based. But um, this is just my focus, right? My life mission, not my business. My life mission is to empower others to invent their future, right? And my directions will be just based on really adding lots of value to the community, to you guys watching this, reading this, coaching, client, whatnot, right? To just support people, and that's what fulfills, not energizes me in my life. Right, and then lastly, right, it's just basically taking ownership. Instead of victimizing, blaming other people, right, uh, trying to feel entitled, right, that other people need to uh, take care of me all the time, right. I'm going to take responsibility for myself, right, take control of what I can do, right, uh, and this includes about passion, happiness, fair of relationships, right, so on and so forth. Okay, so a couple of notes, right, for this, if you are looking to do your own non-negotiable rules, right, which is an activity I absolutely recommend anyone to do, right, um, write down your routines, right, so write it down, right, in the notes somewhere, so that it be very clear exactly what are your daily, your weekly, your monthly, your quarterly routines, right, so just an uh, example, right, this is something that I uh, drew up uh, previously, right, so just be very clear. Right, so this is just a general timing, right? Uh, and you can check it out when you. So just by writing it down, right, you get it very clear. And and then the next thing is you want to schedule your calendar. If you do not schedule your calendar when you're starting out, you're not used to it, right? You don't get it. And again, some of you might have conversation your calendar. That is a conversation for another day. But I absolutely right love the calendar, right? Um, what Brendan Bouchard, one of my favorite virtual mentors, have said, right? Um, let me take a look at calendar and I'll I'll tell you life. Right, so schedule your calendar, right? Make sure it's not there. So my weekly recharge, my learning time, my routines, right? My activities, my daily teams of the week, they're all scheduled on my calendar, so it's easy for me to refer to. Right, and the last thing, right, is accountability and feedback. Right, extremely powerful when starting out. So if you're starting out trying to get someone to help you out, is it myself, right, a friend, uh, a mentor, right, an uh, employee, whoever, right? Get someone to support you because the, the one thing to do is you want to get over that inertia. Because when you do this, it sounds very great. But chances are when you execute or implement it, right, there might be a bit of a struggle. Right, so what you gonna do is to make sure that you right uh, actually get some support, some external help first, so you can bridge over that inertia, that momentum, right, and then you can do it consistently by yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Right, let me know any questions. Right, and I'll see you very soon.